On January 9th, 2021, a group of creators came together to inspire and give you some ideas of how to decorate your Valentine's table for the holiday season. And this group consisted of Antoinette from Ant's Place, Chanel from Inspired by Chanel, myself, Kay, from Creating with Miss Kay, and Glamour Ellen, who put all of this together and encouraged us to put tablescapes together for six weeks to inspire each of you using a array of colors that were a bit non-traditional, but I'm sure can fit into any home. In the first week, the audience chose animal print, pink, and aqua. Here's a small clip of what I used for the first week with my aqua. I used rose gold and I used my animal print. With this being the first week, it was so fun and exciting. All creators had the opportunity to choose a color of their choice and for everyone to do a tablescape. I was the second week of this series and I chose the colors black, white, and red. The theme was titled Romantic Date Night. The next week, the color was purple, which was chosen by Ant over at Decorating Ant's Place. The theme for the week was My Purple Valentine. Here's a look at my two tablescapes that I did for the week. This was so fun. It was a little challenging, but yet it was fun. And for our next week, which the colors were blue and yellow, chosen by Chanel at Inspired by Chanel. Her title was Quarantine Date Night. On our fifth week, the colors were chosen by Ellen, which were Tiffany Blue. Her title was Tiffany Blue, I Love You. I'm just showing you small clips of all of my videos from the previous weeks. At your convenience, I hope that you will go back and watch some of the videos from the series. I will have the video links listed in my description box. As we bring the series to a close, I must give a special thank you to my special guest for my week, who was Gigi Faison for The Love of Decor. Here's a clip of Gigi's video that she presented. It was so beautiful, just as elegant as Gigi is herself. It was such an honor to have her next to me for that night. So Gigi, thank you so much. I will have the link to her video as well as her channel so you can see all of the fabulous works that she's doing on her channel. My special guest for the finale is none other than Debbie Bubbles. If anyone has been to her channel, has seen the work that she does, Debbie does some of the most fabulous tablescapes that you ever want to see. Debbie is a member of the Heaven's Pearls, and she's also a member with the Daughters of Destiny, which myself and Gigi Faison are also members. Debbie's link will also be in my description box. I am so excited about our finale tonight. We have had some of the most wonderful creators to come in as our special guests, as well as our host creators. Tonight, Gigi Faison will be coming back as a special guest along with Debbie Bubbles. So yes, these are my 
two sisters from the Daughters of Destiny. Gigi was our first guest in this series. Our second guest was Renters Love Luxury by N. Our third guest was Manila London. And our guest last week was Danielle, the domestic scientist. Even though she was not a part of the series as a host, I would like to thank B over at Elegant Designs by B. She has done a video for the past few weeks with us in this close collaboration. So make sure you go by each of these creators to see their videos. We will have them listed in our description box. So that way you can go by their channels. And if you aren't already subscribed to those creators or my channel, I'm asking, make sure you go by and subscribe. You will not be disappointed in what these creators have to offer. Tonight, the special guest will be for the finale, Debbie Bubbles, who is my guest. Antoinette's guest will be in by Renters Love Luxury, Creations by Simone, who is Chanel's guest, and Design and Style with Stacy, who is Glamour Ellen's guest. Danielle will be back as well as Gigi Faison. I hope you enjoy my video. Thank you so much. And I hope that we do this again next year because it was so fun. I have no idea what colors we would do if we were to do it again, but I'm always up for a challenge. Thank you so much. And if you have watched us throughout these past six weeks, thank you so much for your dedication and your support. It means so much. I wanna thank my new subscribers who I have picked up during this Tablescape series. And as always, to my faithful subscribers, I love you so much. I wish each of you love, courage, compassion during this Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, much love. I have prepared a breakfast table for two, but instead of on my dining room table, I'm using my kitchen island. We don't like to get too formal for breakfast, but yet you still want to keep it romantic. So here's a look at how we will be feasting Valentine's morning. I'm using the traditional color of red for Valentine's Day. I have my glasses out for our mimosas. I added a beautiful pitcher of roses for our centerpiece. I have everything decorated, beautiful and romantic for just a somewhat simple breakfast. I have here my chafing dish. It's going to be a breakfast casserole. There are my two lovebirds. Here are the pictures for the juice, for the mimosas and the fruit. And as well, I set up a coffee station. We are going to get Valentine's morning started off so romantic. Here's a cute dish towel that I picked up at TJ Maxx. On my runner, I added some red hearts and some candle holders. I put the red pillows into our stools and everything is ready for breakfast. This was so fun to put together. You know, when you truly love someone, it's not even hard work. So this is what I'm doing for my husband for Valentine's Day. He normally doesn't want any gifts, but you still want to do something special. 
So usually a nice meal is what I will prepare for him. Most restaurants are packed on Valentine's Day, so we don't like the crowd. We like to be, you know, just alone, do something a little bit more intimate. So this was a good idea for me to show off what I normally do here around the house. After breakfast, we might just sit around and watch TV or we might get back in bed and snuggle and take a nap. But after breakfast, a few hours later, I will be having a luncheon in the dining room. I'm using the colors red and pink. These two colors together for Valentine's Day are so traditional, so pretty to me. So since it's only the two of us, I took away all of the other chairs and I have it set up. Even though it will be during the lunch hour, there's nothing like candlelight that says romantic. I'm using my black fur runner. It's still winter and this will probably be my last time using it. So I just wanted to go ahead and get it in. I put red roses on top of it and these pink DIY candles look so cute. For my place settings, I have my black charger, my pink flower plate, another red salad plate, and a pink bowl on top. I added this red rosette just to give it a pop of color. Just for decorative purposes, I just put a few rose petals into my wine goblets. I think it looks so romantic. Yes, can you see? I finally did a Valentine's tree. I have been struggling for weeks about doing a tree. I finally got a lot of advice from Ellen over at Glamour Ellen's. And I got my tree together, sent her a picture, and she approved. So thank you so much, Ellen, for helping me out with my tree. Here's a look with my tree lit, as well as the lights down low for my tablescape. This is my luncheon tablescape. I have no idea what we will be having for lunch, but trust me, it will be special, it will be romantic, and it will be all about us. If you haven't planned your dinner or your lunch or even your romantic breakfast with your sweetheart, there is still time. I hope this video will inspire you to have some ideas of a romantic feast with the one you love. I always keep in mind that everyone does not have a dining room but you can be romantic in any room of your home. For our dinner, I chose our living room. I got this idea from Chanel at Inspired by Chanel, but when I went on YouTube to get some inspiration, my inspiration came from Candy over at DIY Designs by CCW. You should see her tablescape on her coffee table. It looks magnificent. So thank you, Chanel, and thank you, Candy, for helping me. I decorated my fireplace, and I think that the pink garland, along with the ferns with the pink picks, look really good on my red accent wall. So my color for my living room, I'm using, as you can see by now, the pink with gold accents, as well as my silver. We will be having a romantic dinner in the living room in front of the fireplace. There is nothing more romantic than sitting in front of the fireplace on a cold winter's night. Have you already planned your Valentine's Day? afternoon or night activities? Are you going out or do you plan on staying in? 
being romantic. Let me know. I hope you have enjoyed my video as well as this series. Happy Valentine's Day from my home to your home.